Hello everybody and welcome today. Whoa, welcome to 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 tap 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 tap. Welcome to today's video. <laughs> and today I wanted to talk about uh an announcement, I guess, that uh Wowhead had put out last week. Blizzard wanting to send uh well they actually already did. They sent out emails or surveys to uh, random players uh, asking how classic cataclysm would do and what they think and all that so i've seen a lot of arguments everything from yes they should do it to no they shouldn't and i kind of just want to bring up some points that i thought of and just kind of want to give my own little a uh, little opinion on uh, all this stuff that's happening I don't know but here we go okay so my first one here is the old world versus the new world one of the main selling points for bringing back or bringing classic world of warcraft was so that players could see the old world before cataclysm had shook things up and split the barons in half and burned ashen veil and 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 all that that happened don't get me wrong i like the change i liked it when it first came out i still kind of do but the whole one the whole point is to see it before and to give players new players players who started like from pandaria and on or even cataclysm and on to see what what the old world looked like you know i i can't really explain it any other way it's a little bit frustrating that that they want to take to me at least that they want to take the classic and you can't see but I'm doing the quotation marks on my phone the classic series and then just update the new land the the land to what we have in current game in retail as for someone like me I, I started a late Lich King and I had enough time to get to level 80 and do some uh, heroic, not heroic, but level 80 dungeons, I guess you could say. And then Cataclysm hit. I only played Alliance at the time. I did not play Horde. So I never like, I never got to see the Barons before it was split. I never got to see uh, Stone Talon Mountain. I experienced all of those things in Pandaria when I first mo uh, switched over to Horde. And everything was already updated. I never got to see what it was like in Classic. So for someone like me who is in that situation, or even, like I said before, someone who started late to the game uh, of, of uh, you know, Cataclysm or Up, they never got to see that. So the main one of the main points was come back, see the world as it is, as it was, and enjoy it. See all the new quests, Mancrick's wife. For the longest time, I always heard, Mancrick's wife, you gotta find her, where is she? She's gone. And I never really understood it until I played Horde. And I finally found him. And, you know, you don't you really can't find, you, you, don't, you don't find Mancrick's wife. But, you know, it was cool to go back and do those quests in Classic. You know what I mean? And, and that's what I did. So, you know, that, that's really all. That, that's my first point. All right, so here's my my second main point: flying. Flying was introduced in Burning Crusade, I believe, and you had Outland flying, and you could fly all around Outland and all that. And then they did the same thing in Lich King, and you had Northrend flying, but you still couldn't fly in Azeroth, Eastern Kingdoms, Kalimdor. Uh, well, that was it. That that was all, that was all. That's all, that how it was. That's all that was around back then. Uh, so you still had to run everywhere. And you actually had a purpose for having ground mounts. Because you could technically, yeah, you could use your flying mounts. But, you know, if you spend a thousand gold on, on, on your swift mount, your swift Kodo or horse or whatever, you're going to want to use it. At least I would. Cataclysm was the uh, expansion where they introduced flying in Azeroth because you had to get around in Hyjal, Oldham, uh, not Vashir, but uh, Hyjal, Oldham, um, 
What's the other one? The Earthen Ring one, uh, Deep Home, Deep Home, that one, Twilight Highlands, all those are huge zones. They're big, and riding on a ground mount through them would literally take all day. I liked it. I love flying in, in Azeroth. Dude, flying over, like, places like Mulgore and Stormwind and... Um, what else? Like, uh, Ajara, I guess. I don't know. Teldrassil. Flying over Teldrassil, uh, Night Elf Warrior was, like, my first character ever. And being able to fly in the big tree over Darnassus, that was cool for me. I like that. But I don't think it should be in the in the classic series classic wow because it's, it's something that we still use you know how often do you ride on ground mounts dungeons battlegrounds and questing uh below level 30. but if you're trying to get around and you're above level 30 you're gonna fly it's just easier it's faster i get it but I don't think it just, I don't think it really fits with Classic WoW. I, I really don't. I, I kind of, I've been doing uh, questing in Thousand Needles. I love running the ground in Thousand Needles. It is so cool. Dangerous, but it is super cool. And, and that's another thing going back to the zones is, they have quest in Thousand Needles, but it is vastly different from how it was back then in Classic, you know, so, or Vanilla, whatever you want to call it. Either way, it was cool. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Maybe that one's just a personal thing. I don't know. But flying, you know, uh, keep it to Outland and Lich King and, and let us ride around in Azeroth, you know, and, and bringing in Classic Cataclysm would defeat that. So, that, that's number two. Alright, so this is number three. Uh, dungeons. Dude. I had no idea how, just how many dungeons that changed with, the cat, with Cataclysm. That changed with Cataclysm. Um, I only, the only, the only ones that I remembered were, uh, Scarlet Monastery, the four wings being turned to two, uh, Skullamance being dumbed down by like a few dozen bosses. Um, and what was another one? Dead Minds. Dead Minds was the other one. Those are really the only three that I remember most, but playing through Classic, I, it made me realize, dude... Wailing Caverns was a whole lot different and a whole lot bigger and it took a whole lot longer than it does now. Um, Razorfin Corral. Dude. That one is, 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 is like... Razorfin Corral was another one. I'm pretty sure... I know for a fact that Razorfin Downs changed even though I haven't gotten high enough to do that one. I know that that one is a lot different from uh, Vanilla, and um, I'm pretty sure there's a whole lot. I I've only done I've, I've only gotten to level uh, 30 in my leveling journey, I guess you could say. Uh, I did boost when Burning Crusade came out, so like I have a level 58, level 60, but and and then I did do the Death Knight for uh, Lich King. Shadowfang Keep was another one. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Shadowfang Keep was another one. Rage Fire Chasm. Um, I, I just had one on my head. Um, old, I think Olderman. Olderman. I think that one's a little different now. Um, Olderman. Oldman. Well, that that's uh, I could be wrong on Oldman, but that's all I can really think of. Either way, a lot of the dungeons have changed over the years, and uh, one of the main p 
parts, one of the main points of me going to and starting Classic was I wanted to revisit Skullamance. That's another one. I, I wanted to revisit... Oh, no, I already said Skullamance. Part of the reason why I wanted to start up WoW Classic was because I wanted to revisit all those old versions of those dungeons and do them again. And, you know, Scarlet Monastery, by far my favorite. I love doing all four wings again. Um, but... You know, that also ties in with, like, um... That also ties in with, like, raids. Like, original Nax, you know. Uh, I was watching... Who was it? I forget his name. Uh, stream... Streamer. He was doing... Uh, he was the one that, that the Warlock, like... He won the role for the for the corrupted Ashbringer. You know, they said in that video that they said in that stream that that would be the last day that you could ever do original Nax. Well, what if I wanted to go and do original Nax? You know, before it got moved in Lich King. Is that the purpose of the season of mastering? I don't know. I haven't tried it. Maybe you know, and you can let me know in the comments. But if it is how many people are actually doing Season of Mastery Classic or Season of Mastery Burning Crusade so that you can still try, you can still do old knacks. You know, you may be able to go still, it may still be available to go play, but doesn't have the people to actually get the content done. That's, that, that's my question. So I don't know. If, so if you know, let me know down in the comments below. Yeah, so this is the last, uh, the last section. This is just kind of, uh, this is just kind of going over everything. These are, you know, um, these are just my, my, what's going through my head and the things that I'm thinking of, uh, with everything. We still have quite a while considering, uh, Lich King doesn't launch for another few days, maybe a week. And, um, and, you know, we still have some time because Lich King doesn't, doesn't launch for like another week or so. So there's, there's plenty of time. So, you know, so there's plenty of time to like really think this over and, and, uh, and, you know, they're blizzard. U ultimately, ultimately they're blizzard. They own the game. They can do whatever they want. If they want to do classic Shadowlands, <laughs> you know, while we're still in Dragonflight, they can do it. But, um, you know, it, it's just a matter of of what your personal thoughts and opinions are, I guess, and how you take it and whether you're going to play it or not. Um, so... Uh, in no way am I defending classic wow i'm not a classic andy i still play retail i still enjoy retail as much as i do classic well not really i'm gonna be honest okay honesty time i hate retail not because of like <sighs> i hate the state of retail right now let me rephrase that i hate the state of retail right now i hate doing raids and mythics and dungeons and not getting what I actually need. If I don't get anything at all, I get pieces that I already have that I don't need because they're better than what that loot drop is. And it's kind of annoying. And I'm tired of the whole, uh, you know, uh, this is the Shadowlands and this is the final frontier. This is where everyone goes and you need anima. You need anima. For everything, you cannot do anything without anima. Oh, you don't need anima anymore? Cosmic Flux. Now you need Cosmic Flux. And it's just, it feels like you just, like, you know that old video of the Spoon serial killer or something like that? Where he would chase around a guy and just constantly hit him with a spoon for, like, the rest of his life until he dies? That's what Shadowlands feels like to me right now. Don't get, don't get 
Don't get me wrong, I liked Shadowlands when it first came out. I thought it was a cool concept. Uh, I liked it for the first two characters that I got to max level, and after that, it kind of just got boring. Um, I miss I miss buying flying. I miss gold dumping everything so that I can get flying. Uh, you know, I don't want to be revered and exalted with every single faction. And sometimes I just don't want to do all the quests and all the world quests just to get flying. I don't like it. And the reason I'm soured on it is because it took me forever to get that done in Draenor. Even going into Legion and Battle for Azeroth. And when I finally got it, seven days later, that was when they just gave flying to everybody. <laughs> so much pain. So much pain. So, uh, yeah, I I'm waiting for Dragonflight. I already bought it, and that's that's going to be my game for retail. But right now, I'm enjoying Classic, um, and these are just my thoughts and opinions. If you have uh, different thoughts or opinions, let me know. Uh, I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to have a discussion and trade thoughts. Maybe you thought of some things I didn't, or maybe you can point out things that I didn't think about, or maybe I'm wrong on some things. I don't know. It's a conversation, so... Other than that, thank you for watching and uh, listening, really. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. See you. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. <laughs>